Hello and welcome to another episode of Maths with Mrs. Banks where we make maths fun and easy to learn. And in this video we're going to look at how to solve for x looking at different types of equations for mathematics grade 9 and question 3.1 goes 8 in bracket x plus 5 equals to 3.1 goes 8 in bracket x plus 5 I think equals to minus 2 in bracket let's go back to the question x minus 5 now what you do is you expand meaning you multiply out so you go 8 times x that will be 8x plus 8 times 5, 8 times 5, that will give you 40. Take out a calculator if you're not sure, to make sure that you get your answers right so that you can stay accurate. So that is plus 40 equals to negative 2 times x, that is minus 2x. Negative times negative plus 2 times 5, that is 10, and that's how you multiply that. Now you will go take all the x's to the one side left hand side so we're taking this to the left hand side and take all the numbers to the right hand side it makes calculations easier that way so that is eight plus two eight goats plus two goats that will be ten goats so that is ten x equals to ten minus forty that is negative thirty now you divide both sides by ten to get rid of the 10 so that you can have x on its own because that's what we're solving for now the tens cancel out here we go tens cancel out that leaves you with x on the left hand side equals to negative over positive that will be negative 30 divided by 10 that will be 3 so that is equals to negative 3 and that's how you answer that question now 3.2 let's go back to the question question 3.2 is a fractional equation so we've got common fraction x minus 6 over 2 that will be x minus 6 over 2 minus the next one is x minus 4 over 6 equals to 1 x minus 4 over 6 equals to 1 let's just go back and double check that excellent now what you do step number one is that you find the lowest common denominator the lowest common denominator is the number that is the highest the lowest common multiple of the denominators and the lowest common multiple for 2 and 3 that is 2 and 6 that is 6 now you multiply each of the fractions by that lowest common denominator. So you go 6 times x minus 6 over 2 minus 6 times x minus 4 over 6 equals to 6 times 1. Now the 2 goes into two ones and into six three times and six and six cancel they go into each other ones so that leaves you with x minus three times x minus six therefore three in bracket x minus six minus in bracket x minus four equals to 6 therefore 3 times x that is 3x three, 3 times negative 6 that is negative 18 minus x plus 4 equals to 6 now you add like times 3x minus x equals to and then you take all the numbers to the right hand side so that will be 6 plus 18 because it was negative and then minus 4 because it was positive now you take out a calculator you go 3 goats minus 1 goat that is 2 
gold, so that is 2x. 6 plus 18 minus 4, take a calculator, 6 plus 18 minus 4, and that will give you 20. And now you divide both sides by 2 to get rid of the 2 so that you can have x on its own because that's what we're looking to solve. So the 2's cancel out. On the left hand side you've got x and then 20 over 2 that gives us 10 and that is your answer. 3.3 x squared plus 6x equals to minus 5 x squared plus 6x 3.3 x squared plus 6x equals to negative 5. Step number one is you take everything to the left hand side because this is a trinomial and then factorize the trinomial. So that will be 6x squared plus 6x plus 5 equals to 0. Now we find the, we factorize the trinomial therefore to set a bracket equals to 0. x in each bracket. Now we find the factor pairs of the last term factor pairs of 5 are 5 and 1 that's it now this will give us 6 if we add them together so we'll have 5 in one bracket and 1 in the other bracket and pluses because they're all pluses so in order to add or multiply and get a plus you will have pluses in each one of them and now you equate each one of these monomials to 0 to the factors so therefore equate each of the factors to zero don't skip this step therefore we've got x plus one equals to zero or x plus five equals to zero and now you solve these monomials therefore x equals to take the one to the right hand side it gives you negative one or x equals to negative five and that's how you solve that next question the last one 4 to the power of x equals to 1 to 8. 4 to the power of x equals to 128. So that is 3.4. 4 to the power of x equals to 128. Now what you do is you take out your calculator and you go 1 to 8 equals to shift and then fact which is that button with many common commas and the right hand side will give you to the power of 7 that's what you're trying to do now we know that 4 can be written as 2 squared so we change that into 2 squared all to the power of x because what we are trying to achieve is that we must have powers of the same base so they must have the same base so that is 2 to the power of when you raise a power to another power for example if you've got a to the power of n or raise to the power of n that becomes a to the power of m times n so you multiply the exponent and that's exactly what we do here 2 times x plus to 2 to the power of 7 which gives us 2 to the power of 2x equals to 7 now you've got 2 to the power of 7 i mean now you've got powers of the same base equal what you do now is you equate the exponent we've got powers of the same base same base equal then you exp equate the exponent so 2x will be equals to 7 now you divide both sides by 2 the 2's cancel out over here and that leaves you with x equals to 7 over 2 you can leave it as this or you can simplify it into the a mixed number okay and this is how you do it you go 2 goes into 7 how many times? 3 times because 2 times 3 is 6 and leaves a remainder of 1 and that's what we have. You can leave it as 7 over 2, does not matter and that's how you factorize.